Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the JVC RS1100. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, as well as giving you my first initial thoughts on the projector, so stay tuned. We're gonna get right into it after the intro. All right guys, so welcome back. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing unboxed and kind of talk through uh, where this projector lands in JVC's lineup. So JVC right now um, obviously has a killer product in the JVC 2100s, uh, 3100s, and also the flagship uh, 4100 that I have up there mounted in our room already. Uh, but this is going to be really the only bulb projector that they have in their lineup currently. So they have the NZ3, which is more towards their entry level of projectors. Um, this is going to be a step up from that. This is going to be a native 4K projector. This is going to be a bulb, so it's not a laser. Um, so think of it as with last year or the last iteration of JVC models where they were all bulb. This will be uh, more in line with the NX5. Um, there are some features, we'll get into that as well, that make this a, a better option uh, now that those have been discontinued. But we'll go ahead and get this unboxed. It's not going to be anything too crazy from the last uh, unboxings with the newer lasers. Um, but well, here we go. So first things first, here you do have a purchase letter. It says thank you for purchasing, um, but all of your limited warranty and set up user guide, all the paperwork is going to be in this little pamphlet uh, right here. You also going to have the remote and batteries included right on top, as well as the power cord. And then I'm going to move this to the floor, but there's uh, the star foam pieces will come out and then we're gonna be left with the awesome projector, the RS1100. So I'll get those kind of pulled out and set back up here and we'll go over some of the features that are on the 1100. All right guys, so now we have it out of the box. Again, this is the JVC RS1100. This is going to be a native 4K projector from JVC. Uh, just starting around the front here, you have the 65 millimeter all glass lens. So that is awesome that they are one of the few projector companies out there that have an all glass lens. So you're gonna have a nice sharp and crisp image. Around back here, you're gonna have two uh, high-speed HDMI 2.1s that allow you to game at a 4K 120 frames uh, frame rate or um, 8K 60 frames. But this projector is not uh, not an 8K E shift like the laser models. This is just a strictly 4K projector. So uh, you know who is this projector for? If you're wanting something that's going to bump up you out of the BenQ, Optima, you know, Epson even, you know, those are not 4K, a native 4K projectors. A lot of those are using a E-shift from a 1080p or a 2K image. Um, so this is going to give you that native 4K resolution. If you have a dedicated room and you don't necessarily need some of the extra brightness from those DLP projectors or the LCD, you know, Epson. If you're on the fence of waiting for the, you know, Epson laser to come out or, or whatever the case may be, you know, this is a great option. If you have a dedicated theater room, you're gonna have JVC's incredible uh, DILA technology that comes across uh, all their line except for the NZ3 that's gonna have just incredible contrast and black levels. And um, with the new projector, you're going to have the new HDMI's, HDR10+, Plus, Theater Optimizer. So this projector is going to have great black levels, great contrast with the DILA technology that's built into all of uh, JVC's projectors, except for the NZ3. It's going to have the Theater Optimizer, so you can put in your screen codes, the conditions of your room, the screen size. It'll automatically adjust its settings to be optimal in your room. It also has the AutoCal, so you can purchase the Spire camera and, and get fairly good results with that most of the time. And um, it's also going to have HDR10+, and it also has probably the best thing about 
JVC projectors right now is its HDR control. So whenever you're putting in mixed media, different content that's mastered at different uh, brightness levels or nit levels, you know, it's going to be able to read that to make sure that the sky and the clouds aren't, you know, blown out and clipping. You know, it's going to bring down the highlights um, automatically. The, the projector is going to be able to read that content. If something's really dark, it's going to be able to lighten that up to where you have a broader HDR experience where a lot of the uh, competitors have a static HDR. So you have to manually adjust towards the plus or minus side of the HDR slider. So all in all, I mean, this is a great projector. If you have a dedicated room and you're wanting to do a 133, 120 inch screen, 110, 100 inch screen, um, and your throw distance is, is not, um, unreasonable you know it's not anything crazy you know this is a great value for the image that it produces um, this is a spectacular unit so if your budget is around 7500 bucks uh, you know below 10k type of price range i would definitely be putting this first one on my list to give it a look and uh, I'm, I'm, i would think you'd be extremely happy so we're going to get uh, into a couple of demos and give you my initial thoughts on the projector here in a moment all right guys now that we have the rs 1100 opened up we're going to watch a couple of demo scenes but first just wanted to go over a couple of quick specs on the unit so this is the jvc np5 or the rs 1100 it is a 1900 lumen projector this is a 4k native 4k projector it does not have 8k e shift so that's important to note um, a dynamic contrast it has 400,000 to 1 with its native contrast is 40,000 to 1 it has a 10-bit color processing and of course it has their DILA chip technology. Um, this does have a dynamic iris built into it as well and it is 3D capable um, but the dongle is an additional accessory so you will need that to enjoy 3D. Um, but this will do pretty much everything that the other units will do as well as far as uh, you know 1080p content, 720p, 4K, native 4K, um, HDR, onboard tone mapping dynamic tone mapping um, so this is just a very good unit this is a bulb projector so this is not a laser projector um, so if you're looking for something more um, in, in the affordable price range um, similar to what the epson is using for their 12,000 you know that's a laser unit um, if you have a brighter environment or a uh, multi-purpose room i would say the epson you know may be a, a better choice unit there uh, but for certainly a dedicated space where you want just superior black levels and contrast against the epson not not knocking the epson at all it's a phenomenal unit um, but if you are in more of a movie type of setting um, i would say the jvc especially at this price point is very tough to beat so we're going to go ahead and look at those incredible black levels and contrast again this is top gun maverick uh, one of the better looking and uh, certainly sounding movies that has came out this year if not the best um, one of the better movies that has came out in the past 10 or 12 years um, but this is a pretty dark scene a lot of uh, a lot of black contrasty blue hues shadows so we're going to take a look at how well the jvc handles that uh, and this is the mach 10 scene so from top gun maverick another just crispy scene from the new animated film super pets pinpoint sharpness in animated films good colors but as you can see i mean this looks phenomenal on the jvc and then the last scene here will be from jurassic dominion it's the new jurassic park movie And lastly, this will be a very punchy scene from Ambulance. Um, this is another video, just video quality through the roof. Just super crispy, super sharp. And 
And that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video on the JVC RS1100. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys would like to purchase uh, the JVC RS1100 or any of the laser projectors, we do have the 1100s, 2100s, and a couple of 3100s in stock. So feel free to reach out if you would like to purchase any projector or any home theater equipment, audio or video related. Feel free to reach out. We really appreciate the business thus far. Um, so thank you guys for tuning into the channel today for another video. Again, this is Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. We'll catch you in the next one.